Lord. That's why I rejoice because the person I voted for win. His name is Jesus. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. I vote for him every day, every election. Did you vote early? I said I probably voted the earliest. <laughs> Look, I'm voting right now for somebody that, <laughs> that I'm talking about Jesus being here next year. Praise the Lord, family. Uh, I already vote him. Amen. Praise the Lord. He the one. I never look for another. Amen. I've been asking people that all into politics. I said, well, 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 would you debate with me, please? Because I want you to give me all your great information why you should vote for this person. And then let me give you Jesus and all the promises. And see if any of your promises come close to his. Amen. Praise the Lord, family. Any of, of man's promises. Well, he promised to give me food stamps. <laughs> I'm just saying, y'all, he promised to set me free. And I'm telling people, there's a biblical answer that overrides man's answers every single time. <laughs> Praise the Lord. It, it's like the doctors. You have to be careful. Once you get in their hands, you don't get out. Amen. They keep you forever. <laughs> I'm telling you, they'll give you a form of death. They'll lock you in. Oh, we got something else for you. Oh, we found something else. Praise the Lord. It's like, <laughs> I want to send you to a specialist. Is his name Jesus? And look, try to do a study and find out when they get sick, where they go. Praise the Lord. Look, they, they go to an empty promise. I think that's such another level in God. Well, we've been taught all our lives to live beneath our privileges. And if we go just a little bit higher, you've done something. But there's levels in God. No matter how you say God is good, he's beyond that. Amen. Praise the Lord. And he's trying to get us to be beyond that. Praise the Lord, beyond that. That you can't even explain it until you have to categorize it in this one category. Category of God is this. This joy that I have, no man take from me. Amen. So if man is capable of still taking your joy, you don't have the joy of the level he wants you to have. Amen. Praise the Lord, family. Amen. If you're still getting upset and, and, and misery, you got misery that's overtaking you because of something happened, you haven't gotten that joy he wants you to have. Amen. Oh, you got joy. But there's another level that it becomes unspeakable. Praise the Lord that you can't even express it. No definition for it. You're just living in it. Ain't that beautiful, y'all? I'm just saying there's a higher dimension, and that's what we're going to teach on, higher dimension of God. Praise the Lord that, look, I'm in the earth. I'm in this world, but I ain't of it. Amen. And misery to be of this world, misery entangled with bondage. Praise the Lord. I want to get to that place where nothing bothers me. Look, that's pure joy, y'all. Nothing bothers you. That is almost, that seems like that's impossible because we we always caught up in something that's still our joy. It's like perfect peace. But I can't keep my mind stayed on God. I had to get it on things that steal my peace. But God's God, no, 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 no. I can get you to a place. Praise the Lord. But we see it naturally, intellectually. We try to reason with him, with God, about his promises. But God is a God. Once I make it, I can't take it back. Then why don't I get it? Because I left it. It never left me. Praise the Lord, family. I, I keep blowing it. I won't hold my ground. See, a lot of things God going to give you, he going to speak a word, but then the devil going to come back and steal it. And we let him steal it. By not using it. 
Now, he can't use the word. He just wants you to stop using it. So he wants you to see, feel, hear, get them emotions. And that go to word. Still there, but I took flight. And the devil know he can keep repeating it. He know what make you miserable. You can get rid of, get rid of cousin miserable. And auntie miserable coming. He know who you're going to let in your house. He know who you're going to let get close to you. Praise the Lord, family. Look, look, you should be sad you're hearing this. Because we've been living it. Praise the Lord. Now get glad because you ain't going to live it no more. Amen. Praise the Lord, loved ones. I need to get glad because I ain't hearing this some more, Pastor. Look, I'm going to, look, I'm moving. And I ain't telling them devils where I moved. Praise the Lord. They can search me all they want, but I'm in heavenly places. I'm in another dimension. Praise the Lord. Hey, do you hear it, y'all? You got to fight to get out of that dimension that you're in. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. Amen. So we're, we're coming out of, you know these scriptures, but I want to give it another little twist that God gave me. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So we come out of Psalm 103. Praise the Lord. Amen. And verses 1 through 5. Amen. I let everybody get it. Praise the Lord. God is good to us, y'all. But I want us to go to another level of how good he really is. I mean, we know him as good. But there's another level of God that we can just live there forever. Ain't that beautiful, y'all? Forever. In his bosom. Forever. Look. We only go fight, trying to find other things because we bored with what we have. He trying to make the world so exciting we don't leave it. Amen. Remember, love this world more than food and raiment. Amen. Okay, right now, because of who we are, we love food and raiment. We don't want to tell the truth. Amen. We love food and raiment more than the word. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let somebody miss a restaurant and don't mention your favorite that got your favorite meals. You ain't thinking about the word. May not even pray over your food. <laughs> Too busy. I got to eat. I got to eat. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm just saying, loved ones. You know, somebody got mad at Pastor. We went to one of the soul food places. I got five boxes of different foods. And uh, they said, Pastor, come sit with us. I said, I can't sit with you. I need a table by myself. <laughs> I need to spread out all the food. Praise the Lord, love what? And get a little taste of everything that I wanted. Because the word had already told me how to be satisfied. Now look, I just took a little bit of each and closed them all up and, and lived a whole week off of those meals. <laughs> I do some with small if I don't give it, give it away. See? And it's like Clarissa and her husband and the kids, you know, they took me to dinner. They said, Pastor, get everything you want. I said, are you, are you telling the truth or are you just saying that? So I told the people I want this, that, and that. To my bill alone was $103. Amen. I said, because I know you didn't expect to give me cheap stuff. Amen. Praise the Lord. Because I didn't want to expect them to buy. But look, but I got them on the list whenever they're ready. I'm going to take you somewhere and get whatever you want. Amen. Praise the Lord, because I want you to reap what you sow. Amen. But, Pastor, we may get $400 worth of stuff. It's like, uh, go for it. Amen. I ain't just talking. See, so God is trying to give us a abundance. And we're still grateful for the crumbs. Thank you for these crumbs, God. And God's a God of, no. You ain't even you you ain't expecting me to do exceedingly and abundantly. You're not looking for it. There are no ex expectations. 
God will put a blessing right under your nose. You keep passing it up. Because we're not looking for abundance. We got magnifying glasses out looking for crumbs. I look, that looked like our crumb right there. Praise the Lord, family. Instead of abundance, you can't miss abundance. So we have to retrain our thinking. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. That's why I told God a long time ago. I said, God, I'm tired of hard. I'm tired of working hard. And I got that from seeing my supervisor. I said, look at this man. Just walk around, don't do nothing. <laughs> and he's getting paid. I said, give me a job where I hardly work. I got it. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And my employer said, what all you do here? I said, not much. <laughs> See, because when you hire him and you say, David, you won't do much. That stayed in my spirit forever. <laughs> and I had to bring it back to him. David, why don't you do this while I'm going? I waited for him. I'm still sitting down when he came back. I said, no, we're going we're gonna to correct this right now. Had only been on the job three months. It's like, I need this job. Look, but God made a covenant with me. Praise the Lord, family. Do you hear this, y'all? He made a covenant. So this man trying to violate it, but it's like, no, I'm going to be sitting here because when you come back, I need to prove a point to you. Let, let's go back to the date of, that you hired me. And you said I wouldn't do much. That's why I'm sitting down. Because I ain't supposed to do much. And so you're trying to violate the covenant. See, and make me feel bad because I ain't doing much. Until God had to retrain him. So now you see me sitting down. David, keep your seat. That's David was going to keep a seat all the time. <laughs> See, now look, on he had only been on the job three months, but I established a covenant with him. Praise the Lord, till he left me alone. So you have to establish the covenant with your adversaries. That God got me. I don't know what you're talking about. Praise the Lord, family. Look, I'm waiting for some political person to ask me, did you vote? And who you vote for, if you don't mind telling me? Look, I'm waiting to wear them out. Because people need to hear a higher dimension of living. This was, Your living was never, ever based on the creator giving you false promises. It was based on the creator giving you a promise made, and a promise made is a promise kept. Praise the Lord. He, he didn't base it on he was playing with you. He just said it make you feel good. It was based on the truth given to you, a covenant, a contract being signed. Now, anybody that want to violate it, I'll just bring the contract to court and let my counselor speak up for me. Do you hear it, y'all? It's like, well, that's proof right here. You got the contract. Then I want it to be enforced. God promised to heal me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I need to enforce it and keep on pressing the issue of he healed me. Praise the Lord. And never, ever let it go. Now, when I see the manifestations of it, now I just keep my praise up a little higher because I'm in another dimension. So you only get what God wants you to get in another dimension. Praise the Lord. Do you hear me, saints? You can't get it being earthly or worldly. See, that ain't the dimension. Praise the Lord. You got to reach out, stretch out in heavenly places to get it. Why? Because you got to go get it where rulership is. The heavens rule. See, man don't rule. So I need to break that gravitational pull that he's pulling me down. Praise the Lord. So I need to break it and get to that place while well, cruising. Praise the Lord. Amen, amen. In heavenly places. And stay there. I'm doing a good work. Amen. Why should I come down? Amen. See, ain't nothing down there for me but vultures. <laughs> Try to take from me. Family member vultures. Friend vultures. And the true. Uncle vulture. Miss vulture. I'm just saying a bunch of vultures waiting on me. Amen. And vultures, they like dead stuff. Ain't, ain't that real, y'all? Look, so I don't need you pecking on me. I ain't dead. 
<laughs> Do you hear, family? Don't be messing with me. I ain't dead. Praise the Lord. So, son, come on with the Psalm 103, verse 1 through 5. Amen. Praise the Lord. Verse 1. Bless the Lord, O my soul, uh -huh. and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Now, this never ends, y'all. His praises are supposed to be continuous. Yeah. Now, y'all, I'm trying to get us to address our own issues. Mm -hmm. See, what you're actually doing is examining yourself yeah. to see if you are actually in the faith. Amen. You hear, family? Amen. You got to constantly do that because it ain't just in service. You Look, you got to serve God. And you got to learn how to promises and patience go hand in hand. You got to learn how to wait on the Lord. And while you're waiting, you got to learn how to stand. Amen. So you, you got to keep saying what thus saith the Lord and not let another spirit tell you what to say. Amen. You got to keep believing the report of the Lord. Yeah. You got to keep believing whatever is just and lovely and honest and of a good report. And, and if there be any virtue in this thing, let me give, the, give God the praise in it. Amen. Praise the Lord. When I found something that's worth talking about and something worth keeping my mind on. Praise the Lord. You got to fight, y'all. Praise the Lord. Look, you ever played a song you like and then somebody is in the atmosphere, but they don't like it? But you ain't tired of hearing it. Now, you'll mess around and stop playing it because they want you to stop. But you ain't tired of hearing it. Look, they need to get up out your atmosphere. Praise the Lord. Amen. Just because they tired of hearing it. But you ain't. Amen. When you're tired of hearing it, you'll put something else on. <laughs> Praise the Lord, family. Amen. So we can't let people change our mind because they're tired of us. They're tired of how we think and how we act. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. It's like, boy, I wanted to play it one more time. <laughs> Praise the Lord. But you play the 15 or 16, we'll do it. <laughs> See? See? If you don't like it, leave me alone. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. That's why you come up here a lot and hear me play the same song. Amen. Praise the Lord. Because it's like, I'm happy with it. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hmm. Read on, sir. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, mm -hmm. and forget not all his benefits. Yes, Are you locked in, saints? Amen. Forget not all his benefits. Praise the Lord. You let something wrong happen or something displeasing, we forget the benefits. We start acting rather silly. Getting with the power of man's speech. All of a sudden, the benefits of God don't mean nothing to us. We're going to keep reading so we can prove it to ourselves. Read on, sir. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, that should put a smile on our face, y'all. That should take that sour puss away. Because <laughs> look, if God can forget your iniquities, blessings coming. Because iniquities often hinder the blessings. Praise the Lord, family. Amen. God said if you've got iniquity in your heart, he won't hear you. Now he's trying to tell you, I will forgive you. So that means I'm going to hear you. Amen. Praise the Lord, family. Amen. Read on, preacher. Who healeth all thy diseases. Oh, come on, y'all. Do you hear it, y'all? Not some of them. Look, that should make you tear a hole in the wall, praising the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord, family. You're going to hear all my diseases because I got a lot of them. You know, it's like people saying, you know, uh, those that are sick, everywhere you hurt, lay your hands. I need more hands. So look, there's something I can't lay my hand on because I hurt everywhere. Do you hear y'all? And God's God, but I got this, I'll heal all your diseases. Do you hear y'all? What doctor on earth can tell you this? It's the truth. And I'm bad the way you put it, like now one of them. Now one of them. It's the truth, family. See, but we don't stay with it long enough for it to develop in us. 
praise the Lord. The truth is seeds. So we plant them and, and let your praise water it, nurture it. And what's that thing come forth? Praise the Lord, family. But we don't stay with it long enough because the devil know how to disrupt stuff. Praise the Lord. Look, you get mad and see your plant looking beautiful. I'm tired of that plant. I'm just going to pluck it up. Now, you know you've been waiting forever. Two plants y'all going to bring to the church and put them up here. One is a sensitive plant. Yeah, it's got its arms out. It look, it's a fern. And as soon as you touch it, it just folds back up. It's very sensitive. And the other one is the praying hands plant. Uh, the leaves are all over the place. But sometime in the evening, a leaf find a leaf and just do like this. And stay there for hours. Praying hand plant. Look, so it moves in the season. And nobody can stop it. You don't have to do nothing. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. I, now, I like other plants, but I ain't bringing them. They canaries plants. Meat eaters. <laughs> I don't want them. They're too vicious. See, I want some to expect, express the sensitivity of God. Praise the Lord. I'm just saying, loved ones, it's like God is God of expression. He want to express himself. And he can he can express himself in the things he do. Love and kindness. He's expressing himself. Have I drawn thee? Praise the Lord. Shh. Read on, son. Who redeemeth thy life from destruction. Lock in on that, y'all. No matter what person that's trying to destroy you, what sickness and disease is trying to destroy you, what virus out here that's trying to destroy you? Your life is redeemed Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. from destruction. Woo. But we don't lock into it. We hear it and then we go on. Look, this is a gift from God. Open your gift and enjoy it. Amen. Praise the Lord, family. Thank you. Open your gift and enjoy it and let that gift be permanent. Amen. And look at that gift. Hmm. God gave me that gift. Thank the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. I remember a long time ago, I was watching the Little Rascals. <laughs> and the little boy that owned that dog with the circle around his eye. He needed $5 for the dog license. And this lady came out the bank counting her money, and the wind blew $5 out of her hand. <laughs> and it fell by the little boy's feet. And the lady said, please, please. And the boy stole my money. So the police go over to the little boy. And he said, no, the Lord gave me this money. <laughs> they never caught that boy ever. He just kept running. To, no, I just got through praying. God give me, God give me five dollars. And that five dollars fell by his feet. He said, no, the Lord gave me this. And the priest would try to catch it. Then never they caught him. He had even little escape routes that the fence is open, only he can fit through. <laughs> what I'm trying to tell you, y'all, if you pray, God give you something, pay attention. Amen. <laughs> Praise Amen. the Lord. I'm just saying, y'all, pay attention and then run for your life. <laughs> Amen. Don't let the enemy take it. Right. Don't let the devil get enforcement. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. Read on, so. Who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies. Read that again, son. Who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercy. Do you know what that really mean, y'all? God smack you upside the head with blessings. He got your attention there. Pay attention. I'm trying to bless you. Pop. What happened? God blessings hit you. Can't miss him now. He crowned you. Bam. With what, son? Loving kindness. Praise the Lord. A lot of people tell me, oh, no, nobody love me. I said, well, no human may not be loving you. But God loving you all day, all night. Amen. Praise the Lord. You, we ought to tell some people, you don't have to love me. I know who do. Amen. And I know, look, he love me all the time. All right. And I, I might as well get ready for what, son? Love and kindness and, and, kindness and tender mercies. Go ahead, son. Amen. Ain't that beautiful? Amen. Amen. 
and tender mercies. Read on, son. Let's get good. Who satisfieth thy mouth with good things. Remember, watch what you say. Because he want to satisfy your mouth with good things. You'll be surprised how you speak the wrong stuff. And you speak something that ain't a good thing. Praise the Lord. Look, even in the world, the lady is telling folks, you heard that song? Oh, you going to love me? You going to love me? Look, I don't care what you just said. You going to love me. Anybody heard that song? <laughs> y'all come on back, y'all. <laughs> Praise uh, Look, no matter what you say, you going to love me. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Fam, do you hear? Look, look son, it's going to go down. You going to love me. <laughs> you going to love me. <laughs> God, you got to tell people that. Praise the Lord. Look, until they can get an agreement. Now, if they don't get an agreement, you can't convince them against their will. But if they got any kind of agreement, they're going, you're right, I am going to love you. Look, so you got to change up the song. You're going to love me or somebody else. <laughs> Praise the Lord, family. Amen. You got to put it out there. Good God. Read on, son. I'm, I'm, I'm loving this. Who satisfies thy mouth with good things. Praise. Speak some good things. He Look, you, if you ain't getting good things, you ain't satisfied. God trying to satisfy you. It's beyond us. Praise the Lord. God ain't going to satisfy you with something you can't afford. Because his blessing will make you rich and there'll be sorrow in it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But he had no sorrow. Yeah, no sorrow. I, that's what I'm telling people. Don't try to get a revelation where there is no revelation. Amen. Praise the Lord. Go on and be obedient and get your blessing. Amen. And don't be looking at it. I can't afford it. Look, you never could anyway. It's the goodness of the Lord that have been blessing you. Praise the Lord. You got to know this, y'all, that God has spoken on your behalf. Amen. You, Praise the Lord. That he will supply all your needs. Now, I ask people that's voting. <laughs> Who you vote for that's going to supply all your needs? Well, not really none of them. Why you voting for? Amen. Praise the Lord. Why y'all troubled over them? Ooh, Praise the Lord. I'm voting for the one to give me peace yes. and bless my soul. Read on, preacher. Hmm. So that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. Do you hear, y'all? Amen. See, look, this is not about your age. Amen. This is a secret that God has given you with wisdom. Amen. He ain't just talking about you per se with your age. He talking about you that want to be renewed. All right. I'll renew your strength. Look, one of the first persons he started with was Moses. Amen. Moses' eyes never got dim. And his strength was never abated. He 110, strong as he had ever been. Wow. Ain't that something? Yeah, Look, I, I don't have no dim eyes. Mm. He was experiencing it. He watched clothes, not watched old on people. <laughs> Watch, he watched how when people grew, the shoes grew too. Now, I know it sounds like a fairy tale, but being born again sounds like a fairy tale too. Amen. But yet, you know it to be true because it happened to you. Amen. See, God feed the born again new stuff. Praise the Lord. Amen. Fresh stuff. You bind yourself to fresh oil. Yes, Praise the Lord. He renew your strength. You, but he's looking for people who will stand. No matter how long it take. You got to do like Abraham. Stagger not at the promises of God. Amen. I don't care what the, the wife said. I'm standing. Yeah. And not so much the wife, but anybody just significant in our life. Praise the Lord. And watch what God going to do for you and them. Yes. Praise the Lord. 
That was it. Going to Lamentations, loved ones, praise the Lord. Lamentations chapter 3. Higher dimension of God. So I want to show you some things. Remember, I don't have to make up nothing. It's, it is already written. That's good enough, y'all. Remember, y'all, all doing history, no matter what God showed men and no matter what he told men, people still rebelled against him and died. Praise the Lord. No matter what they saw. It's still here today. No matter what God do for folks. Folks still have their mind made up not to represent. Wow. They, they are easily persuaded to get with something that God don't want them to get with. You're supposed to be a pilgrim and a stranger just traveling through. Amen. But folks trying to build their whole life on this foundation of the world. Mm. Praise the Lord. And not establish their life on the foundations of God's word. That's why you got to keep preaching, keep preaching, no matter how frustrated, because you don't see people responding properly. But you got to keep preaching, because that is the will of God for you. Amen. Praise the Lord. But they ain't really listening. Well, I got to tell you all, that ain't my business. Amen. I can't make it my business. I used to. But God's God, if you keep letting that be your business, you're going to quit preaching too. Because you ain't seeing the desired response. Praise the Lord. I, I don't see it working. Well, the word, you must not believe it. You must. We must be believing that the word went out and it's returning void. See, we believe in something we shouldn't believe. We just give them that word and keep on going. To this day, look how many people are being saved from what Jesus said thousands of years ago. Praise the Lord. Amen, y'all. Read it, son. This I recall to my mind. Now, stay right there, y'all, because it's, it's going to be interesting in here. See, you're always going to think something. You're always going to have your mind on recall. In other words, you're always going to go back and remember something. Do you hear me, loved ones? Amen. So retrain what you're going to have recall about. Okay. Praise the Lord. What chapter is Three. Uh-huh. Verse 21 through 39. We all have it, loved ones. Amen. Praise the Lord. Read it again, son. This I recall to my mind. Uh -huh. Therefore have I hope. Do you hear it, y'all? Now look at this. You don't keep hope alive. Hope keep you alive. See how people have made up stuff that don't fit? It just sound good. Amen. Keep hope alive. I said, no, hope keep you alive. Amen. Praise the Lord, family. Ain't that real, y'all? Once we look at it right, my hope is in the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord, the hope of glory. Amen. Hope keep me alive Amen. because of the things that God has spoken for me. Amen. Praise the Lord. Read on, son. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. Say with that, y'all. Look at this. So don't be thinking, y'all, do we mention a physical doctor here? What God is trying to do is show the folks there's another level in me. Stop going down to the level of mankind and trying to get him because God has been letting you know the level of, of, of your life in God goes like this. If you get favor with God, I'll hook you up with favor with man. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Look, I ain't supposed to vote, but I am supposed to pray for those in authority. Praise the Lord, family. Amen. Amen. Because you don't know who you're voting for. Amen. I know folks out there in the world, what kind of preacher is telling folks that? The right one? Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Read on, preacher. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. Now, look, every day I shall remember, I shall bring to recall. Look like ain't nothing going wrong that you can't handle 
not knowing this thing is so beyond us. Praise the Lord, family. It's so beyond us. And look, I could be hiding from the plague and get the flu this season and die from it. And even on top of the flu shot. Hey, look, the flu shot could kill you. Ain't no telling what could go wrong if it weren't for God's mercies. Look, I'm just saying we need to take people say, I know this makes sense, but I'm telling you another level. Well, you know, we need to take a praise break. I said, listen, take a mercy break. As far as, let me give God the glory for his mercy. His love and kindness. His tender mercy. Praise the Lord, family. Read on, preacher. Because his compassions fail not. Do you hear this, y'all? And a lot of people don't believe this. Because they ask for a little compassion and take the rest of the week off. <laughs> and then when they start going through some more, back at it again. It's the truth, family. Look, this is something you're supposed to stay with because it's compassion. Look, all this stuff is renewed every morning. And they don't fail. Now, how can some kill you when his compassions don't fail you? Beloved, why die before your time? Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Ain't nothing going to kill you when you... Look, you can't kill me. I threw compassion all out there surrounding me. Amen. Look, and I ain't talking about the mercies yet. And the goodness that followed me all the days of my life. Amen. Praise the Lord. That's why I tell people, why you go in the car a lot and didn't pay no attention to goodness was following you? You go get you a good deal. Amen. <laughs> but people, it's like going to the throne of grace and you went up there empty and came back empty. That ain't supposed to happen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. You folks, you're supposed to obtain some help and find mercy in time of need. Well, I didn't get it because you didn't go. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's like people going to the gym. I went to the gym. You need to ask more questions. I know you went there, but did you go in? <laughs> oh, now you got me, Pastor. <laughs> and now that you went in, did you do any machines, any exercise? Oh, Pastor, I should never say nothing to you. Look, so you got to follow up with people and see if they remain true. Ain't that real, y'all? Yeah. Once again, if, if you're doing what you're supposed to do, look, what you're supposed to do is going to manifest in your body. Right. Praise the Lord. Amen. You're going to see a, a guy in shape. I don't have to tell you now. Praise the Lord. Because it's manifested. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Read on, preacher. They are new every morning. Mm -hmm. Great is thy faithfulness. Do you hear this, y'all? Look, it ain't based on so much we faithful. His promises... I just as faithful for, as the day he said. Amen. Read on, preacher. Hmm. The Lord is my portion, mm -hmm. saith my soul. Look, you're going to have a portion of this world. You might as well let it be God. Ain't that real, y'all? Yeah. Yeah. Some lady had said this. She, all religious. But she said behind my back, but sending a message to me. Well, now, when you get the Holy Ghost, you only get a portion. Say, I can show you the Lord is your portion. I said, he's, now here he's talking about he's your everything. Look, it says, where do God give you just a portion of them? There, there ain't no need to be full of the Holy Ghost. You just portioned of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Line one is out here, y'all. Praise the Lord. Go ahead, son. Read on. The Lord is my portion, saith my soul. Uh -huh. Therefore, will I hope in him. The Lord is good unto them that wait for him. To the soul that seeketh him. Mm -hmm. It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. Do you hear y'all? Praise the Lord. Now there's some things that God is going to allow to happen, but you hang in there with him. Amen. Praise the Lord. It's like it's like a marriage. Just because y'all had some issues, you know, that's it. Praise the Lord. It's like these are small issues and just periodic. See, these ain't continuous issues. So you don't just give up the ghost because of a few little bumps in the road. Amen. Praise the Lord. 
Amen. Amen. Read on, son. It is good for a man that he bear the yoke in his youth. You hear it, y'all. See, we need to be telling folks that are younger, you need to get with God. And get with him now. And keep messing with him. Because they'll tell you, well, you know, I'm too young to be saved. Because the world said, I need to sow my oats. And they're wild. He's like, that's what's going to kill you. Because it's poison on the oats. Praise the Lord. Amen. And you need to tell people this. Instead of letting them do whatever they want. Praise the Lord. Because their wisdom was, no, you only get saved when you get old. I said, you may not make it. You may die in your youth. Amen. Praise the Lord. We don't preach. He sitteth alone and keepeth silence mm -hmm. because he hath borne it upon him. Mm -hmm. He putteth his mouth in the dust. If so be there may be hope. Mm -hmm. He giveth his cheek to him that smiteth him. Mm -hmm. He is filled full with reproach. Yes. For the Lord will not cast off forever. Look, so I tell people, lady, you, he used to call me and always tell me she, she's back in the hospital again. Oh, Pastor, you got to come see me. I said, if I come see you, I'm just going to tell you what I'm telling you over the phone. Amen. So why should I come to another city to see you? Uh, call me ne next day. Oh, Pastor, I think God just mad at me. I said, well, do something to get him from being mad with you. Amen. She didn't want to hear it. So I had to do what I do best. I blocked her. <laughs> I sure did. Because <laughs> it's like, you don't want to hear it. See, I'm not coming because I, when I get there, I'm just going to give you what I'm giving you now. So, look, you don't want to be delivered. You want to be misery that loves company. Praise the Lord, family. That loves company. It's like, I'm not coming there to be your company. Sit down, Pastor, let me tell you all my problems. See, no, God ain't telling me to come. Look, cast your cares on him. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Look, see you later. Keep calling me. I'm going to block you. She kept calling me. Bam. <laughs> and she's still on block, as far as I know. Praise the Lord. Been over a year. I ain't felt led to release her. To <laughs> To give me unrest. I'm just saying you got to. Look, she, hang, she got a pastor. She go to another church. Praise the Lord. It ain't that you're being abandoned. Amen. But she's like, no, I'm going to use you because you're closer to me than my pastor. I said, and that shouldn't be. Praise the Lord. Read on, son. But though he caused grief. Yet will he have compassion according to the multitude of his mercies. Do you hear this, y'all? See, these are scriptures that people don't want to hear because they don't believe God will allow this. Remember when the sons of man came to present themselves, Satan came also. Satan couldn't do nothing unless God gave the agreement. That's still to this day. But God is looking for you to stand. Praise the Lord. Because we are his witnesses. Amen. Praise the Lord. And he, he's God. He's bragging and boasting on you. Amen. And he's looking for you. Don't you fall. Amen. But but he's God. If he already let Satan know. But if they do, they rise up again. Amen. So I still win, Satan. You will never win. Amen. Praise the Lord. Read on, son. For he doth not afflict willingly. Do you hear this, y'all? You'd be surprised a lot of people are mad because they read what they saw. Mm. Look, God's a God. I, you know, I don't want, want to do this. That's why parents have whipped their kids. I really don't want to whip you. I'm not willing, but I got to. Because this looks like it's the only thing you know. Praise the Lord. This speaks a language that you understand. A little pain, a little punishment. Correction. Look, a little affliction. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Read on, son. Nor grieve the children of men mm -hmm. to crush under his feet all the prisons of the earth to turn aside the right of a man before the face of the Most High. Yes. Look, God is God of 
y'all, you got to get this. Sometimes God turn your right away. You feel you have a right to go to God, but he's God of God of things are blocking you. I'll forgive you of all your iniquities, but you won't repent of. Does that make sense to you? Because he's a holy God. Praise the Lord. You know, God ain't, ain't so good like you think, nor is he evil. It's a higher level. Praise the Lord. It's just that's the first level of teaching you to get you to a higher level. Praise the Lord. We don't, son. To subvert a man in his cause, the Lord approveth not. Look, subvert is God will on demand you and your cause. Look, he won't just turn you away stuff that belongs to you. He said, I don't approve of that. He won't approve it. He won't do it. And he don't approve man to do it. If it's your right. Praise the Lord. So here we go. He may, he may chastise you, but it's still your right. Now don't take away your rights. Do you hear it, family? He may afflict and cause grievous things, but he don't take away your right. Praise the Lord. So it's, my rights are still there. Now, kids, watch. You can watch. Just watch for Christmas. Kids going to act up. But you're still going to bless them. Praise the Lord. And sometimes we regret it. I spent all that money. You didn't keep that gift one day. You didn't, didn't appreciate it. That's why I keep telling people, look in your kids' closets, get some of them old gifts and wrap them up and give them back to them. Save yourself a whole bunch of time, effort, and money. Look, because they didn't forget all about them. If people would just go look in the closet, good God, a lot of these gifts are in good shape. Look, I'm going to take my time and get some wrapping. And give it back to you. If it's a small item, put some more paper in it. Make it look bigger. Fool them. Until they unwrap it. Praise the Lord. They'd be all excited. I got this before. Where? In the closet? I can't find it. Because yeah, it's been rewrapped. <laughs> try it, y'all. See if we're strong enough to try it. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Look. The old computer or laptop, wrap it up and put on that new. <laughs> this look like my old computer. I said, no, I don't. It says new here. See, new. <laughs> look, at least you'll be having some joy. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> I'm just talking about ways to refresh yourself, y'all. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, read on, sir. Who is he that saith, and it cometh to pass when the Lord commanded it not? Now, now stay with that, y'all, because we're about to finish up here. But who is he? Didn't they, didn't they tell you you're going to get this virus? But God said, I didn't say you're going to get it. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So pay attention. We go outside of the covenant. And invited in. And don't even know we did. Amen. I've heard people say some of the craziest stuff. Oh, I'm so tired of that virus. I'll be glad when I get it and get it over with. You've heard that? Nutty stuff, ain't it? Look, you may not survive. Look, I've heard them say this. Nobody is immune. <laughs> well, God telling you, you are the weapon form that ain't going to prosper. Amen. But, but we go back to getting with that wisdom of the world. Praise the Lord, family. Amen. Instead of holding our ground, people try to get you. For, look, why are you going to church? Don't you know that virus might get you? It's like, no, it ain't, no it's under my feet. Look, it's all the blood. They had to pass over me. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm just saying, loved ones. That's what they get. They, they, they got the doctors got mad. You got COVID 19. I said, No, don't. Let us test you. You came back negative. Can we test you again? Came back negative again. I said, Remember, once again, the only thing I have positive is the Holy Ghost. I'm positively sure I got the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord. I have all power over you. 
But you never felt none. I said, I never felt none. I've been feeling the same like I've been feeling good. <laughs> Praise the Lord, family. Hallelujah. Amen. Look, hold on to what God is giving you. He said, hold on to your profession. Hold on to the things you've been taught. But as soon as another voice comes, we get with it. And we, we analyze it and accept it. All because what they said. Ain't that real, y'all? All because what they said. And then we have a hard time with it. Oh, it's hard for me to let go because of what they said. Praise the Lord. Finish up, son. Out of the mouth of the Most High proceedeth not evil and good. Do you hear it, y'all? See, so we could be saying God is good, but out of God's mouth don't come evil and good. Out of God's mouth, you ready for this, y'all? Come covenants. Out of God's mouth come promises with a contract. And all you have to do is be in agreement with it, and now you just signed it. Now, it don't matter if somebody else come back and want to dispute the contract. It is not valid. If God say he's your keeper, they can't say they are. Healthcare workers be telling you, we're your provider. I said, do you not see the devil trying to steal when God said, I will provide? But now they're saying, no, I'm your health care provider. It's like, that's a lie. You never was, never will be. Amen. God is in control. Praise the Lord. Read on, son. Wherefore, doth the living man complain? I'll say right there, y'all, because we're finishing up right here. Are you a living person? But then God said, why do you complain? Praise the Lord, family. He said, do all things without murmuring and complaining. Well, because you under my covenant. This didn't come on, this negative stuff didn't come under your covenant. Look, somebody put it out there. Uh, uh, they're not coming back to church. Um, I'm tired of being around all that negativity. I say, you, you never was in the church. Look, you, you never got the Holy Ghost. Look, look, it's just a matter of time before you leave anyway, because you, you could be uncomfortable being somewhere uh, and the Spirit of God ain't in you. Yeah? And of course, you know they're going to point the finger at me. But look, I'm going to point it back at them, what God said. Like, like you know, they told Samuel, and God had to, had to encourage Samuel, Samuel, they ain't fighting against you. They're fighting against me. So all these folks, you're fighting against God. Praise the Lord, family. You ain't fighting against me. See, but I will keep them in prayers. Keep their soul, God. Keep their souls. Look, no matter what crazy stuff they're doing, I pray that their souls be delivered. Because, you know, forgive them for they know not what they do. But it's just a matter of time. You don't have, you don't have the spirit of God. It's just a matter of time before you leave here. Because you're going to feel uncomfortable. Look, that's why demons, they can never go back to hell. It's like everything too wonderful up here. You need to send me to hell, Jesus, where I fit in. Praise the Lord, family. And that's where it goes. You only fit in where your spirit fit. And God will give you a place for that spirit. Praise the Lord. Folks with a lot of hell, you ain't going to heaven. Praise the Lord. You, you set hell on fire. Oh, you call it okay. <laughs> because in Ezekiel, <laughs> hell ain't just so fire, you had to give it fire. Look, Ezekiel 28 said this, and when I read it, I just fell out laughing. For God had told Lucifer, For I found a fire in you. Ain't that something? A fire was found in him. I said, It must have been hell. Praise the Lord, he set hell on fire. God just gave it the increase so it'd be nothing but hell. Amen. Praise the Lord. Ah, that's why some folks be fiery angry. Amen. Amen. Thank God for a lot of strong, flexible blood vessels in your neck and face. Because they, they would have popped. 
Praise the Lord, but they grew to help, help keep you from going crazy. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yeah, y'all. You know, you can't you can't just be in a world of foolishness. You know, people say, you know, speak things that are not as though they were. Well, if you want some gas, you just can't put a water hose in a gas tank. I say, I speak that you turn it to gas. Yeah. <laughs> and God's like, well, you keep passing a gas tank, a gas station all you want. <laughs> like a brother got mad with me and testified. And I said, Pastor, I'm mad with you in front of everybody. I said, son, why are you mad with me? Because you said when I get into heaven, I'm going to make it on E. <laughs> and E will be enough. I said, yeah, I said that. He said, well, Pastor, I had the money, but you said I'm going to get in on E. E will be enough. I passed several gas stations and ran out of gas, Pastor. I said, son, you really believed what you were saying was real? You, are you said it, Pastor. I said, you, you took it out of context. And now you want to call yourself rebuking me, and this is your testimony at the church. Look, he ain't here no more either. Because <laughs> you believe in crazy stuff. See? Just crazy stuff. And expecting folks to get with it. Praise the Lord. I'm only saying it because God said the righteous shall scarcely be saved. See, you come in and don't eat, but at least you made it in. Praise the Lord. But he took that literally, and I passed at least three gas stations. But I thought he was enough, so I don't never have to get no gas no more. Praise the Lord. This is so that people believe all kind of crazy stuff. Amen. That's why God have to give us sound doctrine. Amen. Any questions, my lovely family? Amen. Well, let's take my offering for the night, loved ones. And always keep in your spirit, there's a higher dimension of God. Yeah. Praise the Lord, family. Thank you, Jesus. There's another place other than just reading your word. There's a revelation in your word that take you beyond. Amen. Praise the Lord. Remember, help you search the deep things. Hey, the deep things of God. Take you to places that angels have been waiting to minister putting you in the midst of them. Praise the Lord. Y'all, we don't want to go to hell over no foolishness. Amen. Praise the Lord. When we got all these chances to go to heaven. Praise the Lord. It'll be beyond us all the chances God give us. Till we easily take it for granted. And when you get a chance, stand with me, y'all. Praise the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. I truly mean it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for all you've been doing. Thank you for all you are doing. And thank you for what you've been doing for us in the future. Help us not to miss all these benefits. Help us to bring back to the remembrance of us that you're a good God. And out of you don't come good and evil, but out of you really come holiness. And no matter how we may be lacking, once we got your spirit, we're still the righteousness of God in Jesus Christ. Help us to be renewed, God, to such a place that we, we just can't help but to believe you. Yes, Lord Jesus. And let our faith please you. Help us not to complain, God. Why should I complain when I can cast my cares on him? I'm complaining because I never did. I just thought I did. But you can't be something that you don't have. 
if I have given you my cares, then I don't have them no more. Yes, if I truly gave them to you. Amen. So I'll abide in what you gave me. Yes, Peace I leave. Yes, Not as the world give it, give it not. The world can't take it from you, y'all. And the world can't give it to you. Whoever get in office is part of the plan of evilness. Because these phonies got to do the will of God. We have to bring this world to a conclusion. Don't be deceived, y'all. God is using the wicked. The angels that released in Chronicles, they said, I will be a lying spirit in their mouth. I still hear. Being a lying spirit. Who knows, like somebody said, Biden may get in, get killed, and Camilla be the president. She may be more wicked than everybody. We don't know y'all. But everything got to happen to bring prophecy into play. Man excluded God a long time ago. That God is not allowed to be in his plans no more. So now they've chosen science and the creation of their own thoughts. But they don't want to let Jesus be Lord of Lord in their lives. You got to pay a price for that family. But not let Jesus be the head of your life. Praise the Lord. And the devil, all this will I give you if you just worship me. So ain't no telling. You can go back home and thought Biden won, and next thing you know, something weird happened. It's like, huh? wait a minute, you had it made. And how did this change? What point I'm making is, y'all, your trust is in God. Amen. It don't matter who get in. It could be a Satan worshiper. Look, you still got power over all of them. Amen. Praise the Lord. God still will give you favor. With him and man. Amen. So you can't wrong, go wrong if you choose God, the head of your life. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hold your hands up with me, y'all, as we go on home. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the multitude of mercies. Thank you for when we're not faithful, you are. What a blessing to have you in our life. What a blessing. For us to be in your hand where no man can pluck us out. What a blessing where you can hide us where the wicked one can't find us. What a blessing your blood is still applied. That when destruction see us, when the destroyers see us, you have to pass over us. For our life have been redeemed. We can't be destroyed if we stay with the contract. Don't tear up the contract. Still abide in it. Read it every now and then to be refreshed in your memory. That I forgot this was in the contract. Because all your benefits is in the contract. What God said you can have. What he spoke you can have. And the enemy, the thief, cannot take it away no matter how he want to. Everything he took, he got to give back. Because it only belonged to you, family. Jesus came, us. he said, I came that you may have life. Then death can't take it. And life more abundant. Stay with the program, y'all. I shall not die. But I shall live. And I'm going to declare the works of the Lord. For the Lord is my life and the length of my days. Look, tell that virus that or whatever is out there that wants you. Tell them it's too late to have me because God got me. The devil had all his chances when you didn't have God. Now he have no chances. You got to know that. You got to know that God is your keeper. You ought to tell him, and remember, let him remind you, you know I'm your keeper. Stop forgetting about the benefits because of what's happening in the world. Praise the Lord. Remember, we ain't seen nothing 
terrible yet like we're going to see it. And then God going to come and get you and take you home. Remember, because of iniquity, the love of many shall wax cold. Now, how's it going to get better? And he said, and men shall wax worse and worse. How's it going to get better, y'all? And prophecy is being fulfilled. Will prophecy bring us to an end? How's it going to get better? Praise the Lord. How can the great tribulation come in when God says, such has never been seen, nor shall it ever be? They look, that thing getting so bad, and they never been seen. Praise the Lord. How it's going to get better. But you can get better on a personal level because the Lord is in your life. Save yourself, the Bible said, from this untoward generation, from this wicked generation. Man been trying to exclude God from day one. I'm telling you from day one. Cain, where's your brother? I don't know. Because he's trying to exclude God. He knew. But trying to lie. Am I my brother's keeper? Yep. But this fake world, super rich, super poor. Don't nobody want to help nobody. If the church want to abide in the will of God, folks ain't going to get help. Not, not real help. Praise the Lord. So God is using his people while we're here. Amen. We're letting our light shine. Yeah. We're going to take our light and hide it. Amen. Praise the Lord. Because the world is still here because of you. And, and I think Friday, y'all, I'm going to preach on that's why it's good to stay saved and stay saved, right? Because I'm going to show you that before it's over with, you're going to judge the world. God going to give you that much of a privilege because of his love that you have for him. Amen. And I'm going to show you scripturally. And you're going to judge angels. All them demons that fail going to be judged by you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And I'm going to show you and let you read it. Amen. Praise the Lord. You'll be surprised how God, that's what I tell people, I'm just trying to be God down here. Praise the Lord. Just abide in your calling with him because when he hook you up, all them spirits that thought they had to going to be judged by you. Woo, and this world that tried to put you down going to be judged by you. Right. Praise the Lord. Right. Ain't that something? You're going to execute judging. People don't even know that's, that's a part of the process that God gives the saints. You're going to see it Friday. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. God bless you, saints.